Do you want to learn about how to create amazing thumbnails for your YouTube channel or for your Facebook page and all of that for free? Stay tuned, let's see how to do that. Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to introduce you to a nice web application called Canva and you can find it on www.canva.com and Canva is spelled C-A-N-V-A Canva is a design tool and it's completely free, available online and helps you creating amazing content for uh, not only your social media but for pretty much everything once you register, it's a typical registration, you can register with Facebook, Google or sign up with your email you can log in into this app, so I'll do that immediately. And once I'm logged in, I see on the left panel a few options here. I can choose all of my designs. I can see designs that have been shared with me because there's the chance to share designs. And I can create a team. I never tried that option, to be honest. And I can define my brand. This is a new feature where basically I can define a few colors that are related to my branding. So in the case of WebMind, we have white, orange, and blues. Uh, I can't add my own logo because this is a premium feature, but really you can still upload it through the upload feature in Canva that we see in a, in a moment. So let's take a look at the application. Say that I want to create a, a thumbnail for my for a Facebook video. As you can see down here, there are a few thumbnails that we have created for our uh, videos. And what I'm going to do anyway is to show you here, you say create a design, you can choose between social media, presentation and much more. And if you click on the more plus button, they are organized now by category. I have social media post and each one has its own size. As you can see, I have documents, blogging and ebooks, marketing materials, social media and email readers, uh, events, blah, 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 blah. As I said, you can really uh, spend the day trying all the options. In this video, we're going to create a quick image using a predefined template and uh, afterwards we are going to create a custom image. That said, let's click on YouTube thumbnail and after I do that, it will open a new screen and on the left side, I can select between a, a huge list of layouts. And the layouts are divided between three uh, layouts and you'll see that because there's a a free label on the bottom right corner and paid layout. So you have to pay, for example, a dollar, one dollar if you want to use the layout, this layout. If you click on the, on the layout, for example, it will be immediately added on the right panel that is your actual canvas. You can have as many pages as you want, but in the case of a YouTube thumbnail, we'll use only one page. I select a free layout in this case because otherwise I won't be able to download it. And, but before continuing and selecting our layout, let's take a look at the options available on the left panel. We have layouts, as I said, and you can search also for everything you're looking for, like, I don't know, laptop. Maybe I won't find anything. Ah, oh, yeah, I have it. So you find all the laptop elements. And you can click on the elements option where you can filter by the type of elements you're looking for. For example, free photos, grids, frames, illustrations, lines, shapes, icons, and so on. If I select icons, for example, Canva will suggest a few icons I can put into my canvas. So if I select this one, it will be immediately inserted into the canvas. So far, so good, right? The same thing happens for text. You have an amazing library of uh, text and fonts you can select from. Uh, you can select backgrounds. Uh, and as you can see, finally, I can use my Web Your Mind colors that are labeled under brand colors. And I can upload my own images if I didn't find anything. And that's great because I can mix what Canva offers with my own designs. Let's get back to the layouts option and let's select uh, the one we want to use for our tutorial. So let's say that we want to do a video about traveling, okay? I have a few options that I can choose from. So say it's the new video on our travel blog, for example. So I can click on this one and start from a layout that resembles what I'm trying to achieve. 
And this layout is divided in two sections. On the left side, we have an image. On the right side, we have the actual text. So I want to change it, for example. I want to use a different background for the right side. So if I click on it, on the top left corner, I'll have the chance to pick a color. So I'll select, for example, the color of my brand and I put a, an orange here. I'll change the title and to do so, I can double click on it, get rid of the text. And as you can see on the top area, you now have the usual text options. You can make it bold, you can select different fonts and so on. So I can select, for example, Alpha Slab 1. I have no idea what the font is. I'll probably do, I use that. And I can type uh, how to travel on a budget, okay? And I can get rid of this one, or maybe I can just keep it here. Yeah. I'll change just the color and put it in uh, white. A beginner's guide. That's fine. I want also to change the image on the left side and uh, I want to do something else. So let's try to see if Canva offers me a nice image. Yeah, if I type image on the search bar, I won't find anything. So travel and I can look for an image uh, that uh, suits my needs. So something that is travel related. Yeah. So if I want, I can discover it through the Canva library or I can upload my own image. So let's upload one. I'll click on upload your own image, images. And let me select a picture that could be related to what we want to do. And I'll pick this guy here. So the upload has started, it takes only a few seconds depending on your bandwidth. And once the loading bar disappear, we can simply click on the image and it will be placed into our canvas. But I can also drag it by keeping press the left uh, mouse button and drag it to the left side. And as you can see, it will be placed in the actual section. And if I drag it to the right side, it will be placed on the right uh, area. So this layout, this specific layout is split into two sections. So I'll drag it here on the left and release it. And that's fine. Now, uh, I want maybe to change this image a little and make it darker. So if I click on it, we can access the filters on the top left side. I'll click on filter and this is like an Instagram uh, filter selection. So you have also advanced options that lets you uh, work with saturation, blur and other stuff. Uh, but also you have a predefined styles. So let's pick, for example, drama, no, edge. Edge could be funny. No, we need something a little bit different. Festive, okay? So I know it's not the best image you can see. Anyway, as you can, uh, as you have already find out, it's very, very easy to create a, an image for your thumbnail. And once I finish with that, I can click on download and uh, it will give me simply the PNG image that I can then upload to YouTube. Okay, so let's start from scratch and let's go back to Canva. Let's click on the logo. So we don't care about saving this image. And let's do this time a custom dimension, uh, a custom dimension option. Before doing that, let me check the size of a YouTube thumbnail is 1280 per 720. Okay, so I click on custom dimension and write 1280, 720. Design. Now we're back to the screen we are familiar with, but the difference is that we can't pre-select. If you want, uh, we can still search for layouts predefined by Canva, but what Canva offers on a custom design in the initial stage is actually to select the layout that you want for your thumbnail. So say that I want to do something similar to the one I did before, but this time I want uh, a layout of this type. So this time I want a content on the top and the content on the bottom and no more left or right. So I drag it into my canvas and I have this placeholder. So now I need again the images. Uh, I can use again the ones I have. So say I want to do, for example, let's change subject. Let's do a thumbnail that is uh, web development related. Okay. So I can drag this maybe here. And as you can see, the image is already placed where I wanted it to be. 
and I can maybe use this area for the text. So say that is an Angular JS related uh, topic, and I want uh, the top background to be of a different color, like uh, let's put my usual, let's put white, okay. So again, I've done a very simple thumbnail from scratch and I can download it. Now let's do something better and see where we can get actually. So let's go back on layouts. Let's get rid of this one. And let's put again a, a full layout thumbnail. We don't want side by side or anything. So we'll start with a blank canvas with only one area for our elements. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to upload my uh, background, I'll drag and drop or I can click on it and then I want to add some text. Let's put that, the one is nice. So I'll expand it. So once you select a text or any other element, you have the usual handles on the corners and you can drag with the left bu uh, mouse button, okay? And now I can type how to code a web app. Okay, and this could be something like setting up your environment. Uh, I have an extra e. environment. All right. So this could be, for example, a thumbnail for a series. So maybe my series name is How to Code a Web App, and this is the specific lesson that is named Setting Up Your Environment. Once again, I can play with the background, I can play with the text, so if I select this text and I want to change it, I can simply double click and change, for example, my text color. Well, it's not very readable, the white is better in this case. And in the same way here, I can uh, play around with the option. I can change the transparency from this menu here, like I can make it, you see, a little bit more transparent, but in my case, I think I'm happy with what I have, you know. So, other than that, uh, I will go for a white, uh, for a white background, a white text because it's more readable. So, I hope you like this tutorial. I try to show you a little bit more about what you can do with Canva. There are additional features. There's also a premium version if you use it for work where you can uh, add uh, extra content for your branding, define your own fonts. It's like uh, more oriented to presets and speeding up your productivity while you use the tool, really. But with the free version, you can do pretty much anything, as you can see, and it's very, very easy to use, and I'm sure you'll create great content with that. If you like this video, please uh, leave a like uh, down below, subscribe to our channel, or follow us on our Facebook page that is linked in the info box below. So let us know if you want uh, a few more tutorials on this topic, you want to see something more on design tools, we'll be happy to produce content for you guys. See you next time.